Hey everybody, it's Jenny and I am back with you today to share how I planned this week in my classic happy planner. Uh, there's a look at last week that I shared yesterday with no audio. Side note, I won't be sharing any more no audio videos, so you'll just have to wait till when I can record voiceovers. I am using the Doodlebug Sweet Summer Collection, and right there I'm using the classic size Happy Planner Punch with that 6x6 six six paper pad, which I just absolutely adore. The paper is just amazing. It's double-sided. The patterns are just stinking cute. But the thing to note here is that I'm doing something 100% different for me, which is that I am decorating the whole layout first and then adding my function after. So I just decided to do something a little bit different. I've been feeling a little bit in a creative rut lately, and so I thought let's just change things up and do things differently instead of doing them the same old way. Maybe they won't end up successful. Maybe I won't love them but it always helps jumpstart my creativity. As you can see, I did add already my sticky notes that have all of the pre-planning on them, and I am using my Tombow Mono Adhesive to adhere down these die cuts and the punched pieces of patterned paper. And I'm really loving that cluster, and let's be honest, once I add the stickers, I really actually am completely and totally in love with it. So you can see I am putting down a palm tree and then I am going to add another smaller palm tree and I'm just, I am obsessed. Like I love how that turned out. The placement is super cute and I just think it makes for a really fun and cheerful weekend, which to be honest, adding these cheerful elements in my planner is one of the best things that I can do. I've talked about this a lot in the past, but I feel like when the planner is super inspirational, I want to go back and I want to look at it and I want to see it and look at it. And so then I stay even more functional than I would have ordinarily. So it's really kind of a win-win. Now I peeled off all of the sticky notes and I did write little initials like M for Monday, TH for Thursday on them so that I could go ahead and add decorative elements. Now again, I don't know that I'll plan like this forever or I'll do this every single week, but for this week of just sort of changing things up in the idea of jumpstarting my creativity, bring it on. Now you can see the little chit chat pieces. They're so cute. That beautiful font and then just lovely little bits and pieces that really make this an added bit of fun like little words that just make things even cuter and stuff so I mean right there ice cream come on that is adorable now I'm thinking about using those two rolls of washi tape the one with the treats and then the one with the palm trees and then both of those would match that cluster in the lower right hand corner but I haven't really decided I just sort of pulled those out and then I showed them to you so you could see what we were working with here now I'm going to use this bright pink Abigail font these alphabet stickers from doodlebug i love them like i literally love them the font is just the cutest thing ever and of course the colors are spot on and there's an entire rainbow so no matter what color you need you can absolutely find it so i am just spelling out the last day of school on thursday which is crazy it's summertime and that is so exciting i'm very looking forward to summer although it's going to definitely be kind of crazy and my first one while i am working even though i'm working from home which definitely gives me a lot of flexibility it's going to be different than be able to do whatever my kids want whenever they want so anyway that was just a side note I am now finished with the stickers and I actually love the way that it turned out. So that works out well. And I can see that there's still a little, that one little corner is giving me a little bit of a fit. So I just keep adding more adhesive, hoping that it will stick down. Now, I definitely still want to add a little bit more decoration. So I'm going back and forth between the regular stickers and then the icon stickers, which are a little bit smaller, and then the die cuts as well. Just trying to find that perfect little element to add not only to balance out the design, but then also to sort of highlight that last day of school, like make something super fun. Now, I really want to use the little die cut banana because I love the little bananas, but it just, once I see the pineapple, it's perfect. It's just the perfect little piece right there for 
not only that spot, but then just sort of the playfulness of the layout as well. So I'll just add the adhesive and place that down. And then I'm going to also pull back the S on school just so I can have it layer on top. And again, I really love how that turned out. It's just kind of perfect and like exactly how it should be in my opinion. Now I'm going to add that washi tape at the top. And again, it's the treats one with the pink background. How cute is that? And it absolutely perfectly coordinates with that little piece of patterned paper that I already punched down there at the bottom. And I love it. Now you can see the bulk of the decoration is already done and so now I'm going to fit all of my plans around that. So I'm putting down a Chrissy Ann Designs sticker right there and if you have used these before they are like a vinyl and so I am using a Tombow Mono Twin Pen which has two different tips of pen on either end and it's definitely my favorite permanent pen to use for planning and I'm just making sure that I'm getting all of the important Okay, let's not say important because they're not all necessarily important, but all of the activities down and varying what types of ways I'm using to call attention to them. Now, I used a different pen this week just because I wanted to try it out. I'm using a Muji gel pen that I picked up at the Muji store when I was in San Jose a few weeks back, and then now I'm using the Happy Planner stencil. I definitely like the Muji pen. It's actually a 0.7, and which I, I love a thicker tip pen, but... You, there's a learning curve for me because I'm used to using a Papermate flare, and so you have to definitely give it a little bit of time to dry. Now there's a plastic coating on the stencils that I need to pull off, which is why you keep seeing me mess with it, but it took a little bit more time to pull it off than I wanted to spend in this video, so I have to do it off camera. But I have gone ahead and drawn in all of those little bits and pieces for the stencils, the lines and the check marks and stuff like that, except for how did I miss the one in the center? I don't know. It happens. Anyway, just going back through and Monday and Tuesday, we have that, all of those little bits and pieces and then add again, adding a little flower there in the center to call attention to the activity on Tuesday evening. Now I love these stickers by Chrissy Ann Designs and the colors are just gorgeous. They're so pretty. And this is just really sort of the perfect way to coordinate with the doodle bug stickers because not only do the colors match, but then also it's just kind of the perfect a little bit of whimsy, but yet plainness to go along with it. So it's not too much competing between the two different styles. Now I still have a lot going on this weekend. I certainly have a lot of things to get done. It's been a crazy few weeks around here for me. And then you add in the end of school and forget it. It's just pretty nutty, but I'm going to do my best to stay on track. Now I'm using these other alphabet stickers from Doodlebug. And again, they come in the same color palette that the Abigail one does, but these have three different smaller fonts. As you can see at the top, there's a circle. In the center, there's a rectangle, and then at the bottom is just the alphabet stickers. And so Wednesday is fourth grade field day, which is a big deal for the fourth graders. Obviously, they get to play outside for hours on end and have treats and all kinds of stuff. And so I really wanted to highlight that in my planner just because it's an important sort of detail to remember. Also, side note, I needed to bring things in to contribute to the class, and so I wanted to make sure that that really stood out so I wouldn't forget. And, you know, this definitely stands out. I'm not going to lie. And I love how it looks. It's so cute. So I've got all of those alphabet stickers placed right there in the center box. And so I still have room for my to-do list and I still have room for any activities. And when I planned this, I really actually didn't have activities, which is kind of funny. It ended up being that it was absolutely a crazy afternoon and I had a ton of activities. But when I started out, I did not. So luckily I had left open the Wednesday spot. Now again, adding more of the checklists using that stencil, which so far so good. You know, I had sort of, I don't want to say resisted. I just hadn't purchased it because I had other stencils, but 
I wanted to give this one a try and I really, really, really like the idea that I can just snap it into my planner and add things and not necessarily the checklist, but the straight lines make it really awesome. And so I thought that was a really fun thing and I really am liking it. I just need to get that little plastic peeled off so it's a little bit smoother. Now you can see I am adding, this is a Zona papery sticker right on top of the pineapple and it's obviously a shame to cover up that cutie. However, it has to be done. There are plans for Thursday and I cannot forget where I'm going. So got to cover up a little bit of that guy, but I think it works out okay. I think he still looks really cute and I don't think that it really takes away too terribly much. Now I punched out another full box right there, just the orange with the white polka dots, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere it with the Tombow Mono Adhesive, and I will put that in the Saturday morning, and I'm really using it just to layer, so I'm not, it won't be left blank. I will be adding plants for Saturday morning, but I really just wanted to have that option to layer on top of it. So you can see I used another one of the Chrissy Ann Design stickers right there, which I absolutely love. The vinyl, it's really my favorite sticker plant paper in the whole, whole world, but you do have to write on it with a permanent pen and they are a little more expensive than others and you do have to wait to get them. So I don't order as often as I would like, but I do love them. So now I'm just going to add that and we're finished. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it and make it a great day.